Well, I think you're right that the standout um, from that uh, long press conference that we had to endure was the Iran development. We knew something was moving over the weekend with the arrival of Javed Zarif, the Iranian foreign minister. I think the headline is that it appears <clears throat> that uh, sort of implicit in this French initiative to reach out to the Iranians uh, is an understanding uh, that a new deal has to be forged. That was the impression that I got. It's not just a question of the Americans allowing President Macron to go forward uh, to try and uh, uh, introduce some flexibility to allow Iran uh, to sell more oil in, um, in return for which they can come back and comply with all the details of this very controversial and divisive 2015 deal. It seemed to be the case, I think I heard, President Macron saying that we actually need to negotiate a new deal, which I think suggests, to a certain extent, that the other participants of the deal, namely in this case the French, the Germans and the British, have to a certain extent accepted Donald Trump's objections uh, to uh, parts of the 2015 deal that he doesn't like. So I'm I imagine there's going to be some rather difficult negotiations from now on if we are going to get this process moving forward uh, because it seems to me that the, the Americans it will insist on a much deeper uh, level of checking, more sites being checked, a greater control of, of ballistic missile tests, all the things that Donald Trump uh, has said he hated about the 2015 deal, which he several times called ridiculous, didn't he? Um, I think they're going to look for a tighter deal. Whether the Iranians are going to play ball with that concept remains to be seen. Uh, this is all very much to be worked out uh, as the details of this idea go forward. But there must be some basis to it. Uh, otherwise, I don't think the Iranian foreign minister uh, would have risked that trip uh, to Biarritz on Sunday and four hours of conversations with his French opposite number and then eventually with President Macron in, in the room. But I think what we're seeing here is the potential uh, for trying to redraw the deal uh, altogether, which is a, mu a much bigger project, I think.